I'm gonna be doing a little nursery decor haul for you. I got a bunch of stuff for the baby's room recently, and so I thought I'd share them with you because I love these kinds of videos and I love seeing what products and stuff people are using. So, um, just a little background. Ella's nursery, um, I call it a nursery because it's so big, it's more than just a room. It's like a playroom. When we moved into this house, I always knew we'd have more than one baby in that room because it's so big and there's only two bedrooms on the first floor and I'm not gonna put like one of my kids downstairs not on the same floor as me, at least not when they're young. So anyway, um, and we also knew we'd have our kids really close together. So when I was planning Ella's room, I kind of left it open. I wanted it really bright and colorful so that I could easily incorporate a boy into it if we ever had a son. So I'm really glad I went that route because they're only gonna be 19 months apart and it's a boy. So without further ado, um, let's get started. So the first item I have is a quilt. And I, I use that word lightly because it's not really a quilt. I mean, it's not, I mean it is, but it's small. And you guys, it's so soft. All right, it's super colorful. First off, let's like see this cute trim. And then it has the alphabet, but every H and I is highlighted high in a different color. You guys, I wish you could just wrap yourself up in this right now, it's so soft. Um, it's small so that it's not too overwhelming for a baby and you can use it. Sorry, I just saw something on here, gross. I think I got something on it. What the heck? I'm gonna have to wipe that off. Anyway, it's probably not gonna be the first thing to get on here, but and the other side is just these really colorful little ribbon things. But anyway, it's just such a soft, cute blanket and I thought it'd be a good addition to the nursery to kind of bring in some more color because my nursery is white and so I just try to bring in tons of pop of color. I love color. Um, what brand is this? I really loved a bunch of stuff that they, I'm not seeing a tag. I'll link it below. I got it at the Baby Cubby, which is a really cool place I'm here in Utah, but you can actually shop online too. Um, in fact, I got all this stuff online. Um, oh, okay, it's called the Petite Fair. Fair, it's P-E-H-R. Anyway, they have a lot of really cute stuff. I got a few things of their brand, but it's so soft. It's like down. I just wish I could explain it to you, but I just plan on wrapping up my sweet little boy in it, and Ella can use it, and it can just kind of be a good gender neutral universal blanket in the nursery. Okay, so for baby boy, I kind of picked somewhat of a theme for him um, for the nursery, and I got some bedding, like a crib sheet for him from a Little Unicorn, and it is space, but like kind of more modern. Like it's not like a cheesy kid print, which is, I really love that about this brand. They have like the most beautiful swaddles and blankets and prints on all their stuff. It's just amazing. So. Um, I'm really excited about this. I actually got a swaddle to match, I think. I'm not sure. I'll pull those out next. But um, yeah, this will pull some of the navy out of the rug that I'm doing, although I think I'm gonna be getting a different rug in there now that I think about it. I'll keep you posted. But um, I love Little Unicorn products. I have a ton of this stuff. Ella's crib sheet is Little Unicorn. I have a ton of blankets and swaddles of Little Unicorn for Ella and they have really cute boy prints as well, so, which is always kind of harder to find. I find like girl prints are really easy to find and fall in love with, but boy prints are harder, so anyway. I love this, and I'm gonna do um, maybe a navy crib skirt with it. I'll show you guys, I'll do a full tour reveal of the nursery once it's all done, but um, I picked this up for his crib. All right, since I talked about the swaddles, I'll just grab those next. Um, I love little unicorn swaddles these out. I got three because <laughs> you know like I don't have enough of these. I have way too many swaddles for Ella and she didn't even like being swaddled so whatever. Hopefully this kid is a little more interested in it. Okay so I did get the one. Let me just show you guys. So this is the same print as um, his crib sheet and so I'll show you this so it's like open. How pretty is that? Don't you love it? I just love space stuff. <laughs> is that nerdy? Um, when I was younger, I was really, really into it. And I don't know how much of that was me just being super into astronomy. Um, but my dad is also really into it. My dad's a thermoelectric engineer. He's one of the best in the world, actually. 
and he's creating something that they're gonna be using in Mars in the next few years and that's so exciting and so maybe it stems from that I don't know but either way I'm going kind of this galactic theme but I'm also gonna incorporate some guitar stuff because Trevor's a you know his dad's a guitar player he Trevor um, I don't know if I've talked about Trevor too much on my YouTube channel and videos like this but um, he actually part of his degree at the University of Utah was jazz guitar performance so he's really talented as well and I thought it'd be kind of cool to do like guitars and music but I've got to do it smart because I am putting it into a nursery that has a bunch of girl stuff in there too so we'll just see what I can pull together it's gonna be a really eclectic room but anyway this is the um, print and I got one in a swaddle too so it can kind of match um, oh my gosh, this next print I'm obsessed with. I almost went this route for like a crib sheet too. I think if you did an entire nursery around this, it would be so adorable. But how cute are these little buffalo? I love it. <laughs> and I love the buffalo because honestly, it just kind of reminds me of like my history. Um, Utah, Canada, that's kind of where my roots are. Even though I grew up in California, that's um, my genealogy and um, I don't know there's a lot of buffalo in Canada and out here in the West and so just thought it was really adorable and I just think it would make such a cute nursery theme if you if you were doing like a straight-up boy room I love it and then I had to get this one because who doesn't love dinosaurs that's another thing I was super into when I was a kid. I'm into all these like boy things when I was a kid. I think I was like a girly tomboy. I really loved a lot of the same things my brothers did, but I also loved princess stuff too. So, um, but how beautiful is this dinosaur swaddle? You guys, look, look. Oh, I love it, I love it. Um, yeah, honestly, like when Trevor and I went to New York last year, I was, was it last year, two years ago? I was pregnant with Ella, but, um, and I got to go to the museum and see like the actual dinosaurs. I was, I was freaking out. I was freaking out. One of the coolest things ever, 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 ever. Anyway, love their swaddles. So I got those and then, okay, I'm probably the most excited about these. Um, I, like I said, I love color and I was needing some more things to kind of transition um, the boy, uh, not boy, to transition the nursery a little more gender neutral because a lot of the stuff I have that are like pink I'm gonna switch out for something that could be for boy and girl and that's kind of one of the ways I'm gonna neutralize the space and I saw these really cute organizers it's from the same company that does that quilt, that petite pair I don't know, anyway look at these, look at these I'm gonna use these for some toy storage but also um, I have like a little one on my dresser right now that's pink that holds Ella's diapers and stuff. This one, I'll probably use this one for that and put a bunch of diapers in here. So I just love all the pops of color. So I just got all three sizes because why not? Look how big this is. Look at this. This one, I'll probably put some stuffed animals in because Ella's like stuffed animal collection is getting a little out of hand. And then a medium size one and this little baby one and I'm just obsessed with them. I think they're so cute. I cannot. And I love this kind of stuff because it's super functioning for all ages, all times in life. Like, I can use those in Ella's room when she gets older. I mean, heck, I put those in my room. I mean, I love it. Last, uh, but definitely not least, I got some animal heads for the walls. I'm still not sure how we're gonna coordinate, or not coordinate, but, move the room around because we're gonna have to get a toddler bed in there for Ella but um I want to put these above the bookshelf or somewhere on the wall but I got these animal heads okay I'll show you this one versus the elephant how cute and these can be really pricey you can find them in, all over the place but I actually got these at Hobby Lobby for like not bad like the best price you can find them online seriously um they're like 15 bucks each like if you were going for another brand, they would be, oh man, sorry, my stomach's itching. Like hundreds and hundreds of dollars, like seriously, to buy as many as I got. So um, I got Mr. Elephant. Flamingo, I got a flamingo, you guys. How cute is this one? I love it. I want this one in my room. And then I think the lion is pretty cool too. Look at the lion. 
fun, 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 fun. And then a giraffe. And Ella's already been playing with this one. She loves sucking on its little ears, but. Um, if you guys haven't seen my nursery tour of Ella's nursery currently, um, I'll leave a link for that below, but I do incorporate a lot of wild animals in it because, well, I just like animals, but Trevor served his mission um, for our church in South Africa, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to pull some of that. So I already have like prints of elephants and flamingos and things like that, so I thought this would be kind of a fun way to like tie more of that back into the space, and it's just a fun gender neutral kind of thing. My little friends, come here, my little friends. Um, but <laughs> thank you. So yeah, that was it for this little haul. Um, I've been having a lot of fun shopping for the baby, and I'm excited to show you the nursery when it's done. I've actually made quite a few changes to Ella's nursery, so I was thinking of doing kind of an updated nursery tour of her room um, before I change everything, because it's fun to document this stuff. I like home decor and like seeing how people decorate their houses, and now that we actually have a house and are able to be doing things to it, um, I thought it'd be fun to kind of document that space. So if you're interested in that, let me know. If you like videos like this, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I'll leave a link below for where I got everything, but I'll see you next time. Bye.